Hey friend, welcome to the channel. I hope you're having a great day. Today I'm going to be reviewing Yes, God, Yes, a new independent movie that just came out, video on demand. Is it any good? Let's talk about it. The movie follows Alice, a young girl growing up in the Midwest of the United States. She goes to a Catholic high school and she's a normal teenage girl, which is terrible news because normal teenage girls and normal teenage boys have sexual urges and all sorts of other things that do not jive well with Catholic beliefs. And obviously this causes tension. And she ends up going on a retreat with a bunch of other students to help purify her soul and help her reconnect with Jesus. So this movie hit close to home really hard because uh, it's about a kid growing up in the early 2000s in the Midwest United States, specifically in Iowa where I grew up, and dealing with the weird business of going to a Catholic school and dealing with all of the weird, the Catholic guilt that's kind of associated with all of that. It's just bizarre. And it just, there were so many scenes that I'm just having flashbacks of my own childhood. It's crazy. It's also bizarre to see things that happened in my life being referenced in a period piece movie. This movie takes place in the early 2000s. And so seeing old technology, like old cell phones, Nokia cell phones, old gray boxy computers and, you know, old AOL messenger. It's bizarre. It's really weird to see that stuff in a period movie, but I guess now it's a accurate. I mean, it was correct, but let's just jump right into it. This is an independent movie and it's directed by a woman named Karen Main. I bring that up because this movie feels just incredibly personal. You know, this feels like the kind of movie that you can only tell if you lived it and you experienced it. Um, the things that happen are like too specific and they're too, they're too perfect. Like you can't write this stuff and make it up out of whole cloth. This feels like a story she lived and she put it on screen and she directed it with a very personal sensibility and a personal flair that just comes out on screen in every scene. Our main character, Alice, is played by Natalia Dyer. I think I'm saying that right. And she does a really good job in this film in terms of playing a teenage girl who's uncertain about herself and who's, you know, kind of awkward and doing her best to connect with other people. I think she does a solid portrayal. And seeing her evolve over the film, even though it was a subtle performance and a subtle portrayal, uh, yeah, I, th I think it worked great. In this movie, a, a clear plot thread is Alice is going through her sexual awakening. She's very interested in boys and all of that business, very curious. And so in this film, the way they express that sexual awakening moments is through rock and roll songs. And it's the funniest thing ever where the scene will be playing out normal and then you'll kind of get like a rock and roll song on like a radio or like ambiently in the background. It's really low grade don't even notice it. And then all of a sudden she cues in to something and she like sees a guy's bicep and all of a sudden that, that rock music comes in full blast. And it's like, oh, oh, okay. She is, she is, <laughs> she is experiencing something very intense and very new right now. It's really, really funny. It's, it's an amazing device to sort of show the power of the sexual awakening of young people. It's really funny, very well done. And it's, it's, <laughs> I just, I laugh just thinking about it. The thing that is both hilarious and also incredibly frustrating in this movie is the accuracy of the hypocrisy of like Catholic, Catholic youth counselors. They come at you and say, oh, sex is bad. Sex is terrible. Can't have sex. Can't, can't do anything. And at the same time, they go off and have children out of wedlock or they're in a, a very, you know, intense relationship with somebody else clearly having sex. And it's so stark that at, on the one hand, I'm laughing at it because it's so accurate. And on the other hand, I just want to cry because it's also so accurate. So things I didn't like about this movie so much. Uh, top of the list, without a doubt, is just the cringe factor. The cringe factor is through the roof. Um, there are so many scenes that are so, just so hard to watch. Like, I just, I kept pausing the movie because I'm just like, oh no, don't, don't do that. Don't do, please don't do that. And then I, uh, okay, okay, play it. And it plays out 
as bad as I thought it was going to play out. And that might be my own personal history pl- playing a big part in this that I'm relating way too much with with what she's going through. But dang, man, this was this was a, a, a cringe fest for me, at least. Other things I didn't enjoy. One was weird was the color palette. Uh, the color palette of the movie is very desaturated. Um, there's just not a lot of color in this film. Uh, and I don't quite know why that is. Uh, it doesn't seem to serve a clear narrative function. It's not distracting in any way. It just feels like we could have explored this a little bit more. We're, we feel like we're being overtaken by the grays and the whites uh, in this film, and it just feels a little flat. Similarly to the color palette is the lighting. The lighting felt really undercooked to me. It felt really flat in a lot of scenes. Now there's some scenes um, mostly set at night that feel pretty good. There's a scene in a bar that I feel like is lit pretty well, but the, the overall feeling in this movie is kind of flat light, rounded soft light on everything from every direction. And you know, that's kind of a heartbreaker because you know I feel like this film could have looked a lot better with not a ton more work. And before I give my final rating on the movie, don't forget to leave a like on the video and leave a comment. Have you seen the movie? Have you not? I'd love to get a conversation going about this one down below. And my final rating for Yes God Yes is going to be a seven out of 10. I think this movie is awesome because it tells an incredibly personal story. It tells it very well. It does it with some pretty good performances. Some of the jokes don't land, and I think technically the film just kind of looks a little bland, both because of the lighting and because of the desaturated color palette that they chose to use for this. Um, I think the musical choices and the way they use music is really fun and really clever. I think this movie is most similar to a movie like Lady Bird. This feels very much the same. It feels like it was really inspired by Lady Bird and the way that film was made. But that film, it was kind of better across the board, honestly. And I feel like the story it told was kind of more relatable to more people. Um, but I feel like for a very specific group of people, this movie is going to hit way harder than Lady Bird would hit. Um, it's just you, those specific people need to find this movie. And those people would be like people who grew up in like going to Catholic school, I think are really gonna get way too much out of this <laughs> uh, like I did. Um, it made me enjoy and appreciate this movie way more. Thank you guys so much for watching my review of Yes God Yes. If you guys like the content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. It helps the channel out a lot. 